welcome to Simulate Gaming and finally welcome back to Emergency Call 112 here on the channel. It has been highly requested and now we finally brought it back because there's actually been a big update. Uh, we have a few new jobs and not vehicles that we get to drive but there's been a few more changes and I'll go ahead and show you these now. But for those of you that are new to the channel since we last done the video you don't really know what this is. I'll go ahead and explain. This has been quite a popular game on the channel. This is like I said Emergency Call 112. It is a firefighting simulator based in Germany but... We have the London Fire Brigade skins on, just to be a bit more homely. Um, so starting with the vehicles here, we have the Volkswagen T6. This is the KEF vehicle, or KEF vehicle. I'm not sure what that stands for. I know we've talked about that before in the videos, but I cannot remember for the life of me. But it does have now the London Fire Brigade skin, which is pretty cool. Here is one of the water tanker trucks, and I'll get to that in a second because there's another one at the end. Here is the infamous ladder truck that a lot of you guys like me to use. Um, so hopefully we'll get to use that today in today's video. This is engine 24. This is like our main normal uh, fire engine. Surprisingly doesn't get as used that much anymore because of the new jobs and stuff don't really require it. But this is like the normal fire engine that you see everywhere apart from these. These is not... They, these aren't a thing we use in England. But I did actually see these in Germany when I was invited there. Um, so these are pretty cool to see in real life. But yeah, they... Uh, they're just hoses on wheels basically and here is the other water tanker now like I said we've got another one over there basically this is just a in fact I'll open it and show you this is basically just a truck with hoses and actual firefighting equipment attached to it and because it's uh, got a water tanker on it basically as you see the blue pipes here I believe are for water I think that's why they're blue they could be exhaust extraction but um personally I think they're Gosh, I don't really know. No, I think they, that is exhaust extraction, come to think of it. I didn't actually see what they ever went up to before. You see they go up into there, so I think that's uh, exhaust extraction. So ignore me here. Ignore me what I said there. Uh, but yeah, basically this is a big water tanker, basically. So it's got the hoses. We don't need to connect to any of the hydrants or anything. This is basically just a self-contained water tanker. So anyway, we're going to wait for our first job. And uh, hopefully we get some new interesting stuff. Right, so we have our first call out. This is Tree Saw Operations. So this is pretty self-explanatory. We've never done this one before on the channel, actually. But uh, I'm assuming we have to go and cut a tree down. So we've got the uh, the calf vehicle, which we're going to do. And we also have the mobile ladder unit. We're going to go ahead and be... Ooh, should we be the driver or just the leader? We're going to go ahead and be the driver now. We'll try and drive there. We had issues with this last time, but uh, we'll give it a go. So we need to go ahead and drive to the scene in the calf vehicle. The calf vehicle, for those of you that didn't see at the start, is a Volkswagen T4. Uh, it's pretty dated in terms of the other vehicles in the game, but uh, not to worry. So hopefully we can drive it. Last time we tried to drive, we had issues with like mapping and stuff, and like it was constantly reversing. It was a little bit awkward, but we're going to go ahead and try it again. Which way are we going? This way. Um, so there's the ladder truck off now. Let's go ahead and turn that up a little bit. The volume may be a little bit quiet. I might need to go ahead and adjust this in Adobe Premiere, but um, here's the, the T6 I was telling you, uh, T4 I was telling you guys about. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's get the uh, the engine on here. Eventually, there it is. Um, we'll get the blue lights on, which is number two, and also headlights, which will be number four. And sirens is number two, but we'll probably wait until we get onto the road before we do that. Um, yeah, there we go. Number two. Go ahead and get them on now. And we'll start heading there. So it's, the controls seem to be okay, actually. We don't seem to be reversing randomly like we did last time. That wasn't to do with the game, by the way, last time. That was to do with my uh, my steering wheel was playing up a little bit. So we're going to go and head down in third person. We'll do a bit of first person in a minute. Uh, you can indicate as well, which is the arrow keys on this. And you've got the map there as well, which is following down in the bottom right corner. Uh, uh, break. There we go. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys there, and uh, we'll see what the dealio is. Okay, so we are just arriving on the scene right now. We still don't seem to be getting much volume out of this, which is a bit weird. Um, in fact, I might have to pause this in a second and see if I've actually got the game turned down, which could be the case. Uh, we're going to go ahead and park right here. We'll press enter to start the mission. Uh, let me try and do volume a minute. There we go. That should be better. Um, yeah, we can turn that right down now. All right, so go ahead. Let's go ahead and press enter to start the mission here. Now we might have to switch to attack squad leader in a second. Um, let's get the. Is it going to make us? Yeah. Okay. We're going to quickly switch over to the attack squad leader, which is this guy. Um, 
So we're going to go ahead and put the cones down first of all. This is the one thing that annoys me about this game. The other people just sort of stand around whilst we do all the work. I really wish they'd update the game so everybody's doing something. Because in real life, I'm pretty sure fire begin like the fire fighters aren't just stood around while somebody else does something else. So we'll go ahead and put the cones down first of all here, which will close off that road. They seem to have added like a depth of field effect to this game. Um, which is a bit strange. So for those of you that uh, don't know, there has been there has been a huge update for this game. There's a few new missions, including the, the hook lift truck, which hopefully we'll get to use in this video. I think that's what's wrong with the tree here. So it looks like it's not really in the ground properly. Let's go ahead and get these cones here at the back of the van. And we'll plop them down over here. They could have been done by the other guy, seriously. The other guy could have done this whilst we were doing the other ones, but never mind. Let's go ahead and plop these down on the road here. That cue to put them down. Cool. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be us or the other unit that's going to be using it, so we get to see the ladder truck in use today. Now, a lot of people like me using the ladder truck, and luckily that is on our first call-out, so uh, that's a plus, I suppose. So that's the tree. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it, just by looking at it. The roots look a little bit weird, but oh, surely we're not cutting down the whole tree. We'll have to wait and find out. So here's the uh, the stabilizers coming out now. You see it lifting up there. Uh, this guy's going to be going around... I don't know he's going. He's controlling the boom, okay. So he's on top of the... I think he's a truck today. He's on top of the truck, swinging around the boom. Uh, is there a chainsaw in here? Uh, there's a brush. Uh, okay, he's putting the, uh, that circle there's for him. He's going to be putting the crane down there. There's a chainsaw. I'm not going to collect it just yet, because I don't want to mess up the game if it is us using it. Hopefully it's us using it. If not, we'll just switch through to another role, and hopefully we'll get to do the, uh, the soaring. Right, okay. Uh, he's just changed his trousers, so I'm assuming it's going to be him that's doing all the work and not us. We're going to try and... Is it yeah, he's got a chainsaw. Let's go ahead and switch roles real quick. I just got a screenshot there. Apologize for that. Uh, let's go ahead and select... Yeah, okay, there we go. So we are now in the, the bucket of the ladder truck. So we now control the bucket. We're in first person. Let's go ahead and lift it up first of all. Up, down, left, right is the a uh, w -A -S -A -D. Of course, we can go and extend as well. So, yeah, we're now going to be doing this. Hopefully, we don't crash the game this time. There's a couple of bugs with an everyday recent update, but hopefully this one's pretty stable. So we're going to go, go ahead and uh, extend into here, and we'll cut this like so. There's no animation for this, is there? Okay, this is just like we have to do in third person, because it doesn't seem to be a first person uh, English first person animation just yet. That's a tongue twister. Right, we'll go ahead and uh, retract the boom here. We'll go ahead and let ourselves out, because we need to take this chainsaw down to the branch now. Probably shouldn't have parked the, uh, the calf vehicle so close to where we were soaring, but I didn't actually know what we were doing up until now, so... Let's go ahead and lower this down, and we'll jump out, like so. So he's now going to put that away. Meanwhile, right, meanwhile, let's go ahead and chop this down. We need to make sure we get the trigger up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and chop this in third person. Just looks a little bit better. You see, this is actually an animation for third person. So there's the first bit gone. So we're going to be chopping this into threes. Let's go ahead and get this bit here as well. Like so. There's actually sawdust, which is pretty cool. See the sawdust coming off there? I wonder if we're going to have to be able to clean that up. He's got something up the van there now. Is that for cleaning that up? It is. That's not a job for us, but you can see you actually have to clean up the sawdust, which is pretty cool. Um, come in handy as well with oil spills and stuff in the future, so maybe they'll keep that. Right, let's go ahead and put this chainsaw back. Is this where we put it? Yeah, this is where we put it in here. Let's go ahead and plop that in like so. Um, okay, what do we have to do? Do we have to grab a branch? I think we have to grab this branch here. There we go. Let's go ahead and put it into the trigger. Like so. So that's now the uh, the tree moved off the side of the road. I think the council is going to go ahead and click this because I don't think we have to collect this anymore. How do I take the helm off? I don't think we can. Um, let's go ahead and close this roller gate first of all. So yeah, I believe the council is going to be picking up the tree. So that is us done here. We're going to head back to the station and hopefully get another interesting job. Hopefully it's one we've not done before. But um, let's wait for him to swing that around there. What's that? I don't really know how to get the torch on. But uh, I'm going to go ahead to the station. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we have another call out here with the calf vehicle, ironically. Hopefully it's not going to be all calf vehicle stuff today, but this is storm damage. Not really sure what this one's going to entitle, for being honest, but uh, it's just the calf vehicle going out, so it can't be anything too bad. Maybe it's just like ch chopping down another tree or something? I don't really know. But we're going to go ahead once again and be the, the driver of the calf vehicle, um, just so it's a little bit of something for you guys to watch on the way. Once again, storm damage. I don't really know what that could be. Let's go ahead and head off the chair here. We'll head out down to the, uh, the T4 again. And now, like I said a minute ago, the T4 looks a little bit out of place 
considering everything else is reasonably new. I wouldn't say it's brand new Mercedes trucks, but the CAF vehicle looks like it should be from like the 80s or something. It's a, a T4 hasn't been made for many, many years, so it's a bit strange that we're still using that one. But let's go ahead and jump into it for the second time today. And for some reason, the lights are they're already on. All right, let's go ahead and get the engine on here. Give it a little rev, and we'll head out. So let's go ahead and probably do this in the third person, although... Yeah, it looks a bit wonky because I'm using keyboard to steer. I did try using the Xbox controller with this thing, but it seems to mess up the walking. Like, I got the driving working fine, but then me walking around wasn't really working all that well, so... A little bit weird. Right, we're going to go ahead and indicate... Are you going to wait for us, Mini? No, you're not. That Mini's just going to turn off, even though there's a... Uh, not an ambulance, what are we? Fire engine. It's not even a fire engine, you know what I mean. Right, let's go ahead and uh, head to the other scene as well. I'm not sure how far this one is. It's... It seems pretty far out according to the GPS, but uh, we'll soon find out. So let's go ahead and head down here. I'll meet you guys when we get there. Right, okay, so we are just arriving on the scene right now. I can't really see what storm damage from around here. We'll soon find out. So let's go ahead and start the mission. We are the only vehicle attending this one. Now we're going to have to switch our roles again. So we're going to go to F7, F1, and now we are the uh, attack squad leader here. Right, there's a trigger here. What's this? I see something orange over here. Is it a drain? Or no. Oh, it's the... I think that's boards. I think we have to board at the window. Uh, we have done this one before, I think, but I think I remember it being pretty buggy. So let's see if they've uh, they fixed this one. So let's head to the van, and we'll get out the the boards. I keep going to the wrong side of the van, because for those of you who don't know, I got a T6 in real life, uh, which is the newer version of... well, the newer, newer version of this. And the door's on the other side for some reason, so I keep walking to the other side, although on mine still is the steering wheel, because I live in the UK. Uh, but that could be why, but yeah, the, so used to the door being on the left-hand side of the van, not the right. Can't run with this, unfortunately. A little bit, a little bit of a shame. We have to walk. This is as fast as we can walk. All right, let's go ahead and plop these down here like so. And uh, what we've got to do now? Run back to the van and get the cordless drill. So this is pretty cool. This uh, stuff here. We haven't actually had any fire engine callouts just yet. Hopefully, we get some of them later on in the video, but. Let's go ahead and head to the cordless drill, which is around the side again. There's a little blue case. Pick it up. Uh, there we go. We see it on our hand there. We've got a bit of a weird animation, but there is the cordless drill, which uh, which looks a little bit weird. Our shadow also looks a little bit weird as well. It looks like something out of a horror film, but let's go ahead and head to the planks of wood here. Um, is it third person? I think it's third person only, this one. All right, so make a start on this. Um, I think this is just a seamless animation. I think we literally just have to hold the uh, the mouse button for this. So there's the first two corners in. There's the first plank done. The second one is going on now, as you can see. So yeah, you just have to hold the mouse for this one, basically. Um, third plank going on now. So basically what's happened here is the storm has somehow damaged the window. Um, so we're planking up for them. I'm not sure if that's something we do in the UK. I think that'll be up to the, uh, the, the property owner, but... Ah, he's actually helping us now. So when we're getting it out, he just stood around watching, but he's actually helping us pack away, because he can't wait to go home and get a sandwich, I think. All right, let's go ahead and plop this back into the van like so. And wait for him to bring the planks back. There, they're heavy, aren't they? You made me unpack that myself. And you just made them teleport to the van. Okay, we'll leave we'll ignore that. Right, let's go ahead and close the doors up here. We'll head back into the van. We are now the passenger, because we switched roles a second ago. But um, I'm going to head back to the station real quick. Uh, hopefully we get another job. I want something to do with fire. Hopefully we get one to do with fire. But I'm going to go ahead, head back to the station, and see you guys when we get there. Okay, so another different one here. We have a person behind a closed door. Now, this is the third time we're going to be using the CAF vehicle in this video. Um, so let's go ahead and be the driver once again. Um, let's get up from this seat. So just two of us heading down now, two uh, members of staff, just taking the CAF vehicle down. Like, they've added quite a lot to this CAF uh, vehicle, which is kind of cool, because it sort of had just house fires or smoke alarms, and then um, small conflagrations, whatever they're called. Oh, no, we're going this way, my bad. That was the, uh, I was following the paramedic then. So here's ours, we're getting into the T4 once again. If you'll let me. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the engine turned on here. We'll get dip lights on. Uh, we won't put a siren on just yet. Now, one thing you may notice is different. I don't think I've covered this in the final two uh, jobs that we've been on, but the uh, we now have radio chatter, and there's also someone talking to the control room. So as you can see, they're talking there. I believe you do that when you're the... Uh, not the leader, but you know what I mean. The, uh, 
the guy in charge, what's his name, the lieutenant or whatever. Um, actually, I think around the corner, we are now here already. Let's go ahead and get our siren turned off here. Now, do we park up by the police van? So, this was a guy behind a closed door. So, once again, another small job. I'm going to probably save the next job to be quite a long one. So, we have something interesting to do. Wait until all personnel have arrived. That is the ambulance we're waiting for. And you can see it coming in now. That is a T5. Right, there we go. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. Now, we're going to quickly switch jobs. We're going to go to F7. Uh, and we're going to become the squad leader. There we go. Um, oh, wait, we go here? I keep getting confused because I've got a, like I said, I got a T6 in real life and the door's on the other side. So I keep running to the wrong side of the van here. So I keep running to the wrong side of the van here. But anyway, let's pick up our cordless drill again for the second time. Um, where are we going? It doesn't actually say. Let's just run into here. It's clearly in here, but we don't know what floor we're meant to be on. So let's go to first person. So every single building on this game you can go in, by the way. Uh, the, you can't just walk around the street and go into all of them. Like, the interior appears when there's a call-out for that mission, if that makes sense. But yeah, every single uh, one you can get into. All right, buddy. Oh, I need to turn that off. They've added uh, depth of field, and personally, I'm not a fan. Right, so let's go ahead and start drilling this door here. And that was really, really, really easy. I'm pretty sure there's a missing animation for that. I know we're not actually allowed in here, but there's the person. You right, love? No fire, is there? Let's have a little nosy around the house. So yeah, like I said, all of these houses are enterable. Like every single house you can go into, but it, only when the uh, mission's been loaded for it. So here comes the paramedic. We're going to head back down to the T4 and put the drill away. Right, okay, everybody, so the last job of today, and we hit lucky. We are going to be using the swap body vehicle to me and you and the rest of the farmers out here, the virtual farmers at least, the hook lift. We've really been wanting to use this thing for a long time now, and now we finally get to, so we're going to become the driver for this. I'm not, that's the only role we've got for this, so I'm not really sure what this is going to entail. I have never used this thing, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and start the role here. Uh, where are we? You're in, uh, where are we? There's the camp. Let's go ahead and run through here. This is a little courtyard where everyone likes to hang out. Recreational area, maybe? No, that's prisoners. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head down to the hook lift. Now, this place is a little bit different. We're going to a different lockup, if this is the vehicle I think it is. Um, so I was actually going to do a tour of this, but we do not have to now, luckily. So let's go ahead and head out of this door here. Not that shed there, not that garage there, but this one over here with the doors open, the flashing lights. Finally, we get to use it. A lot of people have been asking me to use these as well, but there just was no missions in the game. But now we finally get to. So let's go ahead and head over here. Now, this has still got the uh, the yellow number plate, which is weird. I think they've gotten back to front. But there we go. We've got the London Fire skin on this as well. This is still German, but that's fine. So as you can see, it's a hook lift truck. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Like so, eventually. Right. Let's get the engine on. The interior is exactly the same as the rest of them, but... As you can see, there's going to be some significant differences. So which one are we taking today? We're taking the AB02 Moldy? It's not English, so I don't really know. Right, let's put our... Um, Hazard lights on six for health and safety. Now, I'm trying to work out how we actually empty this thing. Like, unfold this thing. Right, a minute. There we go, stop there. We're going to go ahead and jump out of the truck. I believe this thing is controlled from the outside, if I remember rightly. That's a fire extinguisher, so it's not that. Was it the fire extinguisher? Yeah, it is a fire extinguisher. Okay, I found the crane control. It's on the side. So let's go ahead and get this thing extended. So we want to go ahead and extend the crane slowly but surely. So it's a little bit different to how we're used to. Of course, in other games, we're just used to pressing X and then Q. Q's. Surprisingly enough, still attached to this, it's just you actually use the hook a bit different in this. So let's go ahead and get, do that. I'm not sure what's in this thing. We'll take a look in a second. Looks like rocks. Is there loads of rocks in here, maybe? Or sand? Oh, sandbags, I believe. Right. Let's go ahead and hook that onto the controller. We'll then retract the hook lift. Right, sorry about that, I just got a, th well, tried to get a thumbnail, it didn't come out very good though, so we're probably going to get another one, but let's go ahead and continue sliding this thing along here, so we'll look. I believe that's sandbags in the back of there. Hard to tell. But that is now 
load it up. I believe we're done. Let's go ahead and leave in traction. We'll jump back in to the vehicle. And then we have to drive to the mission. So first of all, let's get our blue lights on and we'll get the hazard warning lights off. I don't actually know how to get out of here, you know? I think it's this way. Um, it might have actually been the opposite direction. Never mind. There's still a gate down here that we can get out of. Hopefully they open it for us though. Uh, Germany, which means we drive on this side. I had to think that. I generally had to think that. Right, so we're heading right out of here. It's hard to tell, but we are. Right, so I do not know what to expect when we get there. Of course, I have never done any of these hooklift missions before, but we have finally got them. Don't drive into me. You're indicating the wrong way. The AI's a little bit wonky on this. She's indicating right, but then turning left. So, each of their own. Right, let's get the indicator off. They don't automatically go off, which is a little bit annoying. Let's turn this way. Okay, so this one appears to be a little bit wonky, which is a bit weird. So we're actually not even in the circle right now, but it's saying press enter to start. So maybe it wants us to be on the road, but reversing, which I have no idea what that box is over there then to the right of us. So we'll ignore that for a minute. Um, is this going to be right? Can we actually get in the circle just in case? Yeah, we can. For some reason, we just have to reverse into this. So let's go ahead. Drive backwards to the unload point. If I do that... Okay, we just had to press enter in the circle and then move to this. That makes no sense. They should have just let us unload here. They should have put the circle where this is, but never mind. Right, let's go ahead and back up about here. We'll go ahead and jump out real quick. We'll use the crane controls, which are on the side here. And uh, we'll start unloading this. Right, detach container. There we go. Surely that's not the ish the whole mission, surely. Right, okay, that was, um, I'm going to be honest, that was a little bit crap. <laughs> um, I pr yeah, that was a little bit crap. I'm probably going to um, do one more mission, because that one was, yeah. Okay, then. Let's go ahead. <laughs> that's, that's not what I want, I want number four. Let's go ahead and drive back to the station. We'll see if we can squeeze one more in, because that was well too overhyped. Um, I'll see you guys back at the station. We'll do one more. Right, okay, so for the final one, we are back in the cafe one more time. No fires today, surprisingly, so that gives us an excuse to do another video, but we are back in the cafe vehicle. I'm not sure why it keeps giving us odd jobs like this to do. I really wanted a fire today as well, but never mind. So we are going to be doing some pump operations, so let's go ahead and be the vehicle driver once again, and let's do that. Driver of the cafe vehicle, and um, get up, get up. Right, let's head downstairs. So it's going to be the last one of the video. I expected that last one to be quite exciting. It turns out we were basically just uh, delivery drivers. I did actually read the um, description of that mission whilst we were waiting for our next call out. It's to do with heavy rainfall. They're either expecting heavy rainfall or there was heavy rainfall or something like that. So we just basically delivered loads of sandbags. Um, but not to worry. So here's the uh, the other guy getting the Let's get the engine on. Um, where's Dip lights, there it is. So it's getting quite late as well. It's about uh, 8 o'clock in game so far. So let's go ahead and get our siren on here. Piston control from 1721. Come in. I'll let him do that because we need to head to the mission. Let's get our air horn on while we go through there. So uh, I think we've done this one before, actually. I'm pretty sure this means something's flooded and we need to pump it out. So I'm assuming in-game there's been some sort of heavy rainfall that we didn't physically get to see. So we're just going to uh, assume it happened last night. Um, in fact, it's just around the corner. We can actually see the blue lights from here. That's the one good thing about working at night time. The blue lights are pretty insane. Right, we're out of the way. 
get our siren off here. Okay. I think I can see what's going to be happening here. Look, probably down in that uh, hard stand there. Let's go ahead and enter the mission here. Let's go to F1, F7, F2. So now we're going to be the main dude in charge. We've already got our helmet on. A little bit too slow with that. Let's go ahead and pick up the pump. Um, we'll put the pump down here. So this looks like it's flooded down here. Unfortunately, it is pretty dark now. So I'm going to have to probably lighten this up in effects later on. So if it does look a bit weird, it's not the game. It is because I've lit, uh, lightened it up in Adobe Premiere. They've actually given us some street lights, but they happen to be nowhere near where we want them to be. So yeah, this has probably been exposed in uh, Adobe Premiere. So I apologize about that. But that's one thing I wish you could control in this game was the, uh, the time of day. And let's go ahead and unwind hold. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the end of it. And we're going to put it onto the dirty water pump, which is down here. Once again, hopefully you guys can actually see something. I barely can, so this might not even make the video. Right, there's that attached. Pick up the other end of this, and we're going to be plopping that pretty much where we put it, actually. This is going to go along the drainage of the road here. So it then goes down into the drain, which is just there actually for some reason the lines over that but we'll ignore that attach the curb stone and as you can see that is now pumping out you can see it actually going into the drain now which is pretty cool so this should now in fact oh i just realized something we do actually have a torch on this game now i completely forgot so there we go we got all the dirty water draining it's kind of not really sure how that's working, to be fair, because there's no one near the pump. But you get the idea. So we're going to go ahead and leave our flashlight on whilst we disconnect this end here. Remove the end. Let's go ahead and reel this up like so. He's actually going to pick up the pump for us, which is nice of him. Put down end. Let's go ahead and remove that from the curbstone. Put that down there like that. Um, rewind the hose. Pick up the hose and put it back into the van. So we're going to call it quits here. FPS has gone a little bit crazy at night time here. So apologize. We've had some... We haven't had any fires today. I do apologize for that. More emergency call 112 videos to come. There's a lot of new jobs, as you can see, that I'm really excited to uh, to do. Let's go ahead and... First of all, how did I even turn on the flashlight? There we go. Let's go ahead and get into the van here. So once again, thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to do more of this later on. I might even stream it if you guys want. So we're going to head back to the station now. That is going to be it for me. If you did enjoy, please slap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.